Good morning, Mary Jane. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, Mary Jane, can you tell me about yourself? Uh, my name is Mary Jane Panaga. I'm 27 years old from La Barangay Lanna, Tumawin, Isabela. My mother's name is Maria Panaga. My son's name is Romeo Mecantina Jr. And he is already three years old. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, yes ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because I want to earn money for the, for the needs of my family and for the future of my son. Okay, how are you qualified for this job? I am qualified for this job because uh, I have already experienced being a maid. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia because this country is beautiful and we are the same weather. Okay. May I know what your educational level is? I am a high school graduate. What was your recent working experience? My recent experience is housemaid. Okay. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes. How about elderly? Yes, ma'am. And whose elderly are you taking care of? My mother, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Cooking, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Cleaning, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My father. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Yes, Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your attitude? Um, I'm hardworking, disciplined, and honest, ma'am. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will work. I assure you, ma'am, that I work. I will work hard there for doing ma the household chores to do the to do my job well and to finish my contract can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer yes ma'am can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work yes ma'am can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer yes ma'am can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Okay, do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. 
Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Okay, are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Okay, are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Mary Jane, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. Yes. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Okay, ma'am. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, what do you do? I will continue my contract, ma'am. I will finish my contract. One of your family members passed while you are here working? Yes, ma'am. You will extend them? Um, if ma'am, I will ask me to employ if to, to, to go home. And if she, she don't go, go home, and it's okay, ma'am. I will I will continue my work and I will finish my contract. That's all, ma'am. Um, again, Mary Jane, tell oh. us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? My name is Mary Jane Panaga. I'm 27 years old and I have one son and his name is Romeo Mecantina Jr. I want to work in house. I want to earn it. For, for me, save and for the future of my son. Okay. If ever your employer is watching you now, what do you want to tell them? Um, I'm Mary Jane Panaga. Please choose me for being your mate. And I promise that I will work hard and I will finish my contract. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Mary Jane, we will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer.